Give us your name, your rank when you were in the service, and the branch that you served. Hi, my name is Timothy Woolley. I was in uh, the United States Army, and I was in E4, which is called a specialist in the Army. All right, Pat. My name is Pat Woolley, no, and I was in E4 in the United States Navy. All right, okay. Uh, area of expertise. Uh, my job was what was called a fire support specialist, but most people refer to us as forward observers. So it was my job to call in artillery for, like I was with Division Scout Elements, so we were basically armored cav. So I am the artillery link to most times of cavalry and infantry, and I would say land navigation, map reading, um, all that would have been definitely my specialty. All right, Pat? I was a diesel mechanic, uh, basically worked on all diesels. Uh, the first ship I was on was a diesel-driven ship. Mm -hmm. And I got transferred to an APA, which is those little boats you see hit the beach. Mm -hmm. Those had diesel engines, and I took care of those engines. Oh my goodness. Uh, where'd you serve? I was, uh, I did my basic in uh, AIT, which is your schooling at Fort Sill. That is the home of artillery, mm -hmm. Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And then from there I went to, uh, I was, my, my duty station was Fort Hood, Texas. Okay. And then from there I did a little stint over in Saudi Arabia and Iraq. <laughs> a little stint. <Yeah. laughs> what about you, Pat? I, I, start, I started out at boot camp in Chicago, Illinois, and then transferred to a ship in, um, off the, out of California. I was at sea for four years, three different two different ships. Uh, first ship was only a year, the other one was three. And I spent all my time basically at sea. Wow. I mean, we'd come home for shore duty, and you know, I, after I married his mother, she came over after the, the first year. And then she'd come in for three or four months to go back home. <laughs> what what ships were these? Pat? I was on an LST 845. Mm -hmm. That's a flat bottom rust bucket son of a gun. <laughs> what was the name of it? The USS Jefferson County. Okay. And then I was transferred to uh, APA 218, which carries all those boats that hit the beach, takes okay. the landing. Um, I was on there for three years. That was the USS Noble APA 218. That's pretty good memory, buddy. <laughs> that is a very good memory. <laughs> what years, Pat? 57 to 61. Okay. Yeah, All right. And I was uh, 89 to 92. All right. Mm. Now, uh, toughest situation you had to face in the military, Tim? Uh, I would definitely have to say, uh, you know, my time during Desert Storm. Mm -hmm. You know, a um, couple situations over there got a little hairy, and, you know, uh, war isn't pretty. No, you know, that's for sure. So that's for sure. Pat? Well, I had a couple of instances. I rode out a couple of typhoons, but the worst one was we were at sea. I think we were outside the Philippine Sea or something like this. We went dead in the water in a storm. Our main bearing went on our ship. Oh. And uh, uh, APA, if she, when she's swerving, when she's swinging back and forth, if she goes past 33 degrees with those boats on, she ain't coming back. Okay. And then we were, we had, I had a couple of what we call SALTs, guys that had been in the Navy for 10 years, which were scared shitless. No kidding, really? <laughs> yeah. Sounds and, like the Poseidon adventure. Yeah. <laughs> it, it basically was. We, yeah. And like I said, we couldn't do it. We were in the middle of the sea. They even sent a ship back for us, but luckily we got it fixed before they got to us. Oh, my goodness. But that was a, that was a ride. <laughs> that's, that's why I went in the Army, because I would have been throwing up the entire time. There you time. go. Bingo. Bingo. Uh, what about your favorite takeaway from the military? You know, I, I guess... You know, there's, there's many different things. My drill sergeants were, you know, they're still a huge part of my life, you know. I mean, they, they, they whooped me into shape and made me a soldier. But um, I would have to say, you know, the brotherhood, you know, with the, the, the guys that I served with, you know, we're uh, 27 years out now, I think. We just recently had a reunion, and it was like we didn't miss really? a day. So it was uh, uh, definitely the friendships and the bonds because, you know, you're meeting people from all over the country and you, you go in and, and you know and you'd be willing to put your life on the line for one of these guys and they would you too so it's um, definitely that that bond and that friendship and um, all these years later we're still pretty tight you know we don't see each that. other all the time but that's the one great thing about social media you know you're able to get in touch with those guys you served with and stuff right out the gate and uh, yeah it was uh, they're great people and you know those types of bonds in that situation they don't they don't go away they don't go away yeah. Exactly, exactly. Pat, what about you? Well, I went in the Navy at 17, the day I turned 17. And uh, I went in, I lived in the hood, basically mm -hmm. is what they call it now. Um, I went in there with the intents of saying my life, you know. Didn't work out that way because I didn't want, I had a kid before I got out. But the thing was, it, 
I needed discipline. There was no question. I, had, I was a very hot-tempered young man, mm -hmm. and I needed to straighten out. And I would have never taken it as a Marine. <laughs> but in the Navy, it was a little easier. So, But it taught me, and I had some good uh, petty officers in charge of me that uh, helped me out, settled my temper down. And, mm -hmm. and I got out, oh, I was already a married man and had a kid. So it, it actually disciplined me. And I, I needed it. I really did. <laughs> well, that, that makes sense. Now, yeah. let's, uh, after the pause here, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Veterans Days. Okay, mm -hmm. Pat. What about you? Every Veterans Day comes up every year. Armed Forces Day, you know those those type of celebrations. What comes to mind? Well, I'm a big World War II history buff, okay. and I watch the History Channel religiously, okay. and uh, I read a lot of books on it. But my dad served in the uh, World War II. Uh, he was in a battle to build the Philippines. His ship got sunk. He, got, he luckily got out. Uh, and I do think a lot of World War II. When when Veterans Day comes along, World War II is a big factor in my mm -hmm. life. You know, mm -hmm. especially with him, and uh, um, and I think of all the people. Every one of us has served. You know, my brother was in the Navy. My dad, this guy went in the Army. <laughs> but the uh, I, I'm really proud of the American veterans. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they they should be honored. You know, mm -hmm. I don't care where they were or what. Mm -hmm. And even, and I thought it was a dis uh, disgrace the way Vietnam was treated. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I do think a lot of the, I go back to World War II a lot. Mm -hmm. Everything that went on, uh, mm -hmm. what I knew my dad went through, and I just, I can't believe those guys. What a generation that was. Mm -hmm. And I, I just think they ought to be honored beyond anything. <laughs> Tim, what about you? I, I feel the same way. You know, there's definitely that pride. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be a veteran. You know, um, I don't want any special accolades because of it, but I, I think it's good that um, veterans are recognized because you know they, they, they're out there fighting for their country. And um, I would have to say that as a young guy, I didn't really envision myself going in the military. But kind of like my dad, I, I, uh, you know, I had to make a decision. You know, I dropped out of college, and I'm like, you know, I need to kind of grow up and get my stuff together and uh, best decision I ever made. But you now growing up, you know, seeing the, the, the TV, the movies and everything like that, I mean, I definitely admired. I'm more of a revolutionary guy. You know, I'm a huge George Washington uh, fanatic. And I, I here was a group of guys and, and people of, you know, and that took on, you talk about a David and Goliath story, you mm -hmm. know, this, the, these little colonists took on a superpower mm -hmm. in one. And, it, uh, and that's why we're the United States of America, you know, and so that's, uh, I, I love that kind of stuff. That's my, but I, I'm fascinated by World War II because uh, my old neighbor was a World War II vet and mm -hmm. got to talk with him and then seeing growing up how, you know, Vietnam era was kind of, a lot of my friends and stuff and then seeing those movies coming out to see how they were treated and stuff and I just remember thinking man that was so wrong and then I even remember when I came back we came back to parades and everything and I couldn't imagine what they went through and I think what made it so much special when we drove on to Fort Hood when we flew in when we came back from the war all the veterans of the VFWs and the, you know they were all lined along the road mm -hmm. and it was a lot of those Vietnam World War II veterans saluting the bus as we were driving back in and it, it gives me goosebumps to this day and I'll never forget that image as long as I live. Wow. Yeah. Pat, favorite book about World War II? You Winds of War. What's that? Winds of War. Winds of War, really? Yes. Okay. And the sequel. Uh, oh yeah, uh, War and War, Remembers. War, War and Remembers. That yeah. is a tremendous yeah. and, and twosome of books. And actually, Patton was, <laughs> He's Patton a big was, reader. I'm a big reader, and Patton was my hero. Well, Patton was, Patton was a interesting and I, yes, and, I, and I served in the second armor. There you division. go. Yeah, See, so I, it was, I uh, didn't realize it until afterwards yeah. <laughs> that he was in that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love Patton. I yeah. really thought he was something else. I'm not much of a reader, but uh, definitely um, Brothers, uh, Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. Oh, I have. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I can't. I, I cannot watch that <laughs> yeah. whenever it's on. Me I yeah. mean, that showed from the beginning to the end, and uh, I just, man, that's a powerful, powerful show. Also, very, uh, very interesting. Did, did you? Did either of you watch the the South Pacific? Uh, the yes. 
side of, of yes. that. Yes. Yeah. 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 With Clint uh, Eastwood stuff and everything. No, the, 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 the they did the they did the Band of Brothers and then they did the Pacific yes, one. I, I can't remember yeah. what that yeah. was. And called. I'm trying to remember what that was called. I can't either. But, uh, 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 the guy the guy who the Medal of Pacific. Honor and they showed him. And, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, but that was much darker. Band of Brothers had a there was a, you there know, was a family was, feel to yes, it you know yes, amongst that yes, you knew everybody yeah. and stuff so that yeah. one kind of i preferred band of brothers but yeah. i mean it was interesting and i learned a lot from that other one too mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. i'm just going to make a comment on the winds of war right. it's funny mm -hmm. at sea i had to take care of evaporators which makes fresh water okay. so you're down below and you're standing watch you're not supposed to be reading on watch <laughs> i read that whole book <laughs> did you really I, well i was on watch wow. <laughs> My goodness. well those that the, that two kind of volume deal from oh. Herman Wolk is, yes. they're like 1,250 pages a piece. So. I know, they're great books. Yeah, God, intriguing, books. intriguing, that's for sure. So, uh, <laughs> But uh, are you looking forward to doing anything special on this particular Veterans Day? I mean. No, the free meals are always kind of nice. <laughs> I don't take advantage. Of, you know, I got I friends. barely do too. I got friends that really take advantage. <laughs> okay, of, and I don't go to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, um, actually, uh, you know, and we get a long weekend usually out of that, so I might shoot up north for the weekend. There you go. It's about that time sit, of year. Sit in the woods. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. Exactly. What That's what I usually do. I think it's on a Thursday this year. It's, well, it's, it's November 11th. You should know that. Do you drag him with okay. you? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> do you like the outdoor? Do you like that outdoor element as much as he does? Oh, I. You mean hunting? No, yeah. So? Oh, yeah. I just gave it up two years ago. Did you really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I just gave it up two years only, only because I get tired of sitting out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. This old body gets cold up and <laughs> blind you. and everything. He sits out there. He can sit out there all day. Forever. No, not me. No. Well, he likes the thinking portion. Of yeah, I, the hell too. He just likes to sit out there and just <laughs> freeze his butt off. <laughs> all right, well, that should do it.